I'm excited because to me, this is more like next Iron Chef. So I'm always, I think I'm always at my best in a very unsettled environment because I, I, I feel like I could adjust very quick. I'm very comfortable in that situation. I love to compete. Um, so I, I feel it's advantageous to me to be kind of uh, out of the home kitchen a little bit because um, I've, I've worked in this environment, I think, more than the other Iron Chefs have. Here we are at Morimoto's home turf. So, I mean, I think he has an advantage right off the giddy up. But, uh, you know, I like that there's a little bit of um, uneasiness and what's going to happen next kind of feel where you don't get that. So, you know, I've done 30 battles in Kitchen Stadium now, so you're pretty familiar with your surroundings. I'm extremely competitive. Uh, I was an athlete <laughs> and I'm competitive as they come. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm. Uh, I have the best winning percentage of all the Iron Chefs. Not that we should bring that up or anything, but it's just a fact. I'm, I'm uh, I think I'm 26, three and one. I never really remember the wins. I just remember the losses. Um, it's just kind of how I'm wired, I guess. But uh, I mean, there's been some great, bad, you know, it's the funny thing is, is my mother is Greek and most of the, my losses have been on Greek ingredients, which really upsets her very much. And I think it's because they're so comfortable for me that I end up doing more like super rustic home food than I grew up on as opposed to Iron Chef style food. You know, like when I see octopus, I don't think Iron Chef. I think of being out on the grill with my, my yaya and my mom and serving it with some olive oil and red wine vinegar and potatoes, which is delicious, but isn't what they're looking for in Iron Chef. Mm -hmm.